with ever increasing energy costs and consumption, uh, we decided that we would need to take some stringent measures to try and cut that back. It was having a big impact, not just in our cost base and our finances, but also we realised that it was having a big impact on the environment. Uh, we spoke with the Carbon Trust, we spoke with Invest Northern Ireland, and with help and advice from them, we basically implemented a plan and a strategy to try and reduce our costs, reduce our energy usage and efficiency. A big part of making the changes was finding out what we used to begin with, so it was about monitoring and tracking the usage. Things like our, our fridges, our, our wine chillers, um, dishwashers, glass washers, they were all quite high energy usage. Our BMS, which is our building maintenance system, it's a computer controlled system which manages the heat levels uh, and the water levels throughout the hotel in terms of heating uh, and the flow rates. We introduced a new system um, by investing quite heavily in the BMS and redefining it, retraining the staff on how best to use it. That in turn has helped us reduce our costs by managing the system uh, and managing the effects of it a lot more efficiently. We've saved 528 tonnes of carbon emissions per year. Our energy savings um, equate to around 58,000 per year based on the energy we used in 2006. We do a lot of work out in the local environment. Um, one of the projects that we're passionate about is protecting the bee population. Bees pollinate two-thirds of the food that we eat. Without them our food would be very expensive and we wouldn't enjoy the variety of food that we have today. With this in mind we have a little area on our seven floor garden which we have plants there for the bees and the birds and also in May we will be planting the wildflower seeds. We find it's important to actually stick to native wildflower seeds in order to improve biodiversity. Uh, we've been working along with RAP and the Green Tourism Business Scheme to help us achieve our targets. We were the first hotel to sign up for the hospitality food agreement. We segregate our waste as much as possible. This allows us to separate out items that we can send to charity. For example, our cans go to a charity in Balamoni called Can Can Recycling. We work along with River Ridge Recycling. They collect all our waste materials, our recycling materials, and they also send our food waste for compost. And because of them, last year we were able to achieve the zero waste to landfill, and we got the gold award from Let's Recycle. We got the Green Tourism Gold Star Award with the Green Tourism Business Scheme, and we got the highest score in the UK and in the hotels that they had in Ireland. We have a lot of companies here that actually, before they book the hotel, they want to find out your environmental credentials. And it's great when we have these accolades behind us, then it gives people trust in our product. From the very beginning, we, we understood that we could never achieve any of this without the staff buy-in and commitment from them. Uh, and we started by basically training the staff on, on how they could save energy by simple things like turning off lights. But we had a lot of information sessions and, and education sessions with them, and we brought out outside agencies to help achieve that. As part of the commitment to, to your staff training, um, we have an induction process, a day one induction, and then a company orientation. Part of that process is making sure we instill in all new recruits that we are an energy efficient hotel and that we're committed to reducing energy costs, waste to landfill, and it becomes an integral part of their day one induction so they know from the very beginning what we're about and how we like to do things. Seeing the benefits from our energy usage um, and a reduction in waste to landfill have been hugely beneficial to the hotel and we appreciate that they're also hugely beneficial to the environment. We've continuously cut our energy costs and our energy usage year on year um, and our hope is to reduce our carbon footprint even further that by 2020 we'll be at zero carbon footprint emission from the hotel.